If you own a BT1337G, there's some work you have to do. Right here is a gib for the half nut. The screws that come with it are only 12 millimeters. They barely protrude past that gib. They decided to fall out on me, I had no idea, and ruin a spindle that I was working on. Hopefully I'll be able to salvage it because I did leave myself some extra length here. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to salvage it. Uh, what happened when when that gib fell out, the half nut uh, started pulling apart and it actually pulled the whole carriage into the part. I'm not even sure how this all moved, but um, it apparently did and it ruined my part. So you do, if you're gonna do this, you need to take this end piece off here, this part here. Take, Take that off, and then you're going to need to pull out the screw. Since I don't use the start handle, I have a VFD, I, I pulled that handle off, that assembly there. I'm not putting that back on. It doesn't do anything to help guide it either. So um, I wish it actually did have some guiding capabilities where it would actually help stabilize the thing, but it doesn't. My thought is, though, as I convert this to CNC, since I have all the parts for it, that I will probably put... Uh, a solid bar across the bottom and put some bearings some way to add some additional support to it because I've had issues with this top plate moving I can move it by hand you can see that I can move it by hand so I don't know I mean I think the screw is ultimately keeping that in place um, I'm not I'm not entirely sure but I've had a number of issues it's surprising that I have a part that is perfect with zero taper I mean it's it's got zero run out all the way down to where it got messed up so uh, I had to do a lot of fiddling with the machine though to get it to be able to produce that and, and cut a certain certain way so there it is uh, there's pins on the back so as you engage that it's just kind of a cam lock setup and it clamps it down and then you have to like I said you have to have that gib there Here's your locking switch, keeps it from engaging the, the uh, Y-axis power feed. So there it is, folks. That's something you're going to want to do if you have a BT-1337G.